guys, so we're back working on the Volkswagens. Um, gonna do an oil change in the wife's 2020 Tig One, um, and then gonna do one in the Jetta. Uh, there's not a whole lot of, I don't know, videos on the Tig One, so I figure I haven't posted one, so I'll post one on the Tig One and then on the Jetta. One of the things I am doing when I do the Jetta is I'm replacing my um, oil bolt or oil nut and I'm going to be using a twist drain. So basically this will just thread right into my oil pan and then this is held in by a spring and uh, a locking mechanism. I don't know if you can see it. But it'll actually, then for me to drain it, all I'll do is push it in, spin it, and it will just drain on its own. I don't have to pull out my um, my oil plug anymore. So if you're looking to do that, I picked this up at Advanced Auto. It's an M14. You're going to want the 1.50 uh, um, thread. So uh, on the TIG ones, though... Um, they have a plastic uh, oil plug. I also picked up another one. Um, this is going to be the second oil change I've done on my wife's take one. Um, I don't know if you're supposed to replace these every time you do one, but I figure they're nylon or plastic, so and they're pretty inexpensive. I think it was like eight bucks, so I'm just going to I replace it every time. Um, the take one takes. Uh, six quarts of oil and the oil filter is mounted up top so you'll have to pull off your your cover It'll actually pop off it's just held on by, uh, by like those little rubber rubber stoppers and then the oil filter on the TIG ones is gonna be right here so I use a 32 millimeter uh, socket and put on there and spin that off. And then once you do that, the new filter you get, which I went with a Fram, um, and there will be your part number. It will also have a rubber gasket. You'll take off the old gaskets that's going to be around the bottom here, um, and you'll replace both those. So I'm going to pause the video, and then when I get down under the car to put the, the drain plug back in, I'll show you where that's going to go and how you put that back in. It's actually super easy and probably one of the best things uh, Volkswagen's done um, to make servicing them a little easier. So I'll pause this, and I'll pick it back up here in a few. So I'll pick the video up real quick again. Um, just pulled the oil filter out. Um, and that's pretty much what you're going to be looking at once you get it off. The filter is going to be in here. Um, so, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. And right here is the, uh, the seal that will come with your new oil filter. So you'll just have to use like a pick or a real small flathead and pop that one off. And then slip your other one back on. And then... What I've been doing is I put the filter uh, back in here and then I put the whole unit back in together. When you do pull it out or when you are loosening it and then you start to disassemble it, do it slow. Um, because as you're doing it, you'll hear the oil actually uh, recede back down into the motor. So there'll be, I want to say it's a, a, a ton of oil in here. But, I mean, there's probably a good inch, inch and a half, maybe two um, inches of oil in here when you start to disassemble this. So, once you break the seal, it'll actually, you'll hear it actually uh, draining back down in. So, I'll pause this quick and throw the new filter on and uh, pick the video up underneath the car uh, when I put the, uh, the drain plug back in. All right, so we're back under the car. Um, 
was hoping it was actually going to be a little easier to do this. Uh, show you guys what I'm doing here, but I'm actually going to have to put the plug in first, and then uh, I'll show you exactly where it goes. But when you do the plug, um, a flathead actually just fits right in there, and uh, that's all you got to do to to get it loose is you just put a flathead in it um so move this oil pan back and went that off quick so we can uh, tighten this so then when you come back you'll be able to basically um feel where the plug actually is and you can get this and it'll actually just seat just like that um, I don't know how good you can see that and then, uh, I always just wipe everything off while I'm down here Because then once I have everything changed, I'll, uh, I'll start it and let it run for a little. And uh, just make sure everything's good. Um, but it's hitting pretty decent. So it, it, it's, it's a pretty cool concept. It's actually a really smart idea. To do it this way and then to loosen it i mean literally i just came in here with a flathead and i'll show you on the, on the old one but the flathead actually just fits in there and it just spins and then you can back it out and so forth and i mean you won't put it in too far that you break it uh, if you actually look there's a stop point right right here that's actually on the plastic too so and then you have one on the oil pan which is plastic so but now that we got that done um It's a zero weight uh, 20. Um, I've been going with the, the Castro or Castro um, on the past couple oil changes. It seems to last pretty long. Um, that's pretty much what I've put in all of my vehicles was this brand of oil uh, since I've been driving. So, um, and I always grab the one that's the GDI turbo formula, uh, considering that these are uh, tur turbo vehicles. So, um, to fill it, I mean, your your uh, oil cap will be right here. Whenever I do them, I just take that off anyway, because I'm going to take it off eventually anyway, so I just take it off. And I just leave it off till I'm done. Um, so, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, the oil changes on these are pretty easy. Like I said before, it takes six quarts. Um, if you're going to replace your drain plug uh, when you do yours, um, I picked one up at Advanced Auto. It's a doorman, um, and your part number is uh, 09. 0-090CB so I think it was like $7.99 um, but I say it in all my videos if you have any questions ask I'll get back to you as soon as I can um, I'm gonna do another video on the uh, the twist valve on the Jetta 
uh, once I get that done, I'm not going to do a video on, uh, on changing the oil on the Jetta. I mean, they're probably all over YouTube, and you, probably even for the 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 Tig one. So, um, but I just thought some of the things that they did on the 2020 was um, actually kind of beneficial if uh, if you're into doing your own maintenance. So, thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe, and as always, if you have a question, ask. If I don't know the answer, I will do my research and get back to you with an answer that hopefully is what you're looking for. So thanks.